Well, it's really good to be with you today. If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2, 2 Timothy chapter 2, and uh, we're going to pray and we'll have our daily devotional together. Father, thank you, God, for this time, and Lord, help us to really learn how to lean into your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Paul's talking to Timothy. You know, these are some of his final words for sure. He's just, uh, well, we're not really sure how far away uh, his impending martyrdom is, but it's close, and he knew it. And uh, so he's wrapping up, you know, this what he knows to be this final opportunity to really encourage a son in the faith. And he says this, You therefore, my son, remember son in the faith, not actual physical, biological son, you therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Just um, powerful parting words from the apostle to this young man that, you know, he had had such a huge impact on. And, you know, uh, I think encouraging words not only for Timothy to hear, because as you know, Timothy was a, a young man that was prone to some, some weaknesses. He was a timid guy. He uh, struggled with anxiety and stress to the extent that physiologically he had some issues. And, and yet he was just powerfully and mightily used by God. And so I think these words were, you know, not something new to Timothy, but a reminder for sure that he needed. And it's a good reminder for us today too, right? Um, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Be strong in the grace. Somebody once said that grace uh, can be described like this, right? It's an acronym, God's riches at Christ's expense. I like that. I think that that's good. God's riches at Christ's expense. What that means is that everything that you need for your life to be successful as a disciple of Jesus Christ comes through the infinite provision of God that is made available to you through your faith in Jesus Christ, everything that you need. Now, I don't know what you need today. And the fact is this, that our needs uh, change from day to day. But maybe today you need strength. Maybe you need, maybe you need physical strength today. I want to encourage you to lean into God's grace. Maybe today you need emotional strength. You know, there have been a series of things that have happened in your life that have just worn you down. And, uh, you know, emotionally you just kind of feel like you're, like you're worn fabric, right? I mean, worn so much you can see right through it, just about to rip. Well, lean into the grace of God. He's able to supply to you according to the riches that are in Christ Jesus. Maybe today you need guidance. You got a big decision coming up. Maybe you're buying a house. If you can imagine that in this market, maybe you're buying a house or you're thinking about moving to another state or um, there's a job opportunity and it's going to require some risk. You know, you're going to have to leave one job for another job. Well, you know, you need the guidance of God and God supplies that to you uh, through his grace. Maybe today, uh, it's just like been really heavy, just a spiritual warfare or discouragement. You have felt like there's just been this cloud that has been lingering over your life. And well, what you need today is you need the grace of God to part that cloud that the light of Christ could pour out into your life. So today, number one, everything that you need is supplied to you through the grace of God. Be strong in that, all right? Be strong in God's grace. And the second thing is, you know, I mean, I can say all that and you might be thinking, well, that's great. I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with that. How do I get it? You know, how do, how do I get to a place where I'm possessing those riches that Christ uh, has supplied for me? And this is how you do it. You lean into God by faith. You lean into God by faith. Whatever that need is, this is what I mean. Whatever that need is, you bring it to God, Philippians chapter 4, remember, verse 6, you bring it to God, it's called a supplication. There's a need that you have. You ask with thanksgiving and you believe by faith that God will supply, right? That's, that's how it works. It, it works by faith. You know, James said this, if you lack wisdom, let me just give you an example. If you lack wisdom or if someone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives liberally and without reproach. But, but don't be a double-minded person. Don't come to God not believing that he's going to supply when you ask. Don't let that person think they'll get anything, right? Because they are double-minded and unstable. So, 
So, what you do is you come to him in prayer, you ask with a heart of gratitude by faith, and you believe that God is going to give you what you need for the day. I want you to try that, all right? You just experiment in your own life with what you need, and I'm going to experiment in my own life with what I need. I pray that you have a great day today. Remember, the only thing that you can take with you to heaven are the souls that you bring with you. Have a great day.